Hey guys, RC here. We are back with Football Manager 20. This is episode 27 with FK Carl Scrona. So we left off last episode. Uh, we were on a pretty good run of form to start the season. Uh, had put us up at or near the top of the table. Uh, we lost our first match of the season to Arebro, uh 4-3. Mads Holm with four goals in the match. We got goals from Pontus Paisan, Leonard Thompson, and Karsten Badge. Uh, we, you know, we went up one, they got even, they went up two, we got even, they went up three, we got even, and then they scored in the 88th minute for the game winner. Just really, really let this one get away from us. Should have probably won the match. Uh, Angle Holmes. Uh, they finished second in the league last year. We beat them 2-1. to one. Badge and Thompson with goals. They got their goal in the 94th minute. Nor Coping, our old senior affiliate, we drew 1-1. One, one. Again, let this one get away. Leonard Thompson with a goal and Axel Bjork with a 93rd minute goal. Malmo, we lost 1-0. Stefan Havastad, Havastad got the goal for them. Then we beat Scoved 3-2, uh, Badge, Pison, and Larson with goals. And then Sunval we beat 2-1, Alvy Gunners, and Niels Pallinson got a penalty in the 90th minute uh, to put us up after going down 1-0 early. We played a handful of friendlies, Elfsburg we lost 2-1, Kalmar we drew 1-1, <coughs> and Rangers we beat 2-0, just trying to bring in a little bit of money, keep the team a little fresh during that period. We're sitting on $561,000. The transfer window opens tomorrow. And so we're looking at making a couple of moves. I've been scouting some players. I don't scout anything particular most of the time. I usually let my chief scout and GM handle that, uh, the scouting part. And I just look at the players they've got in. But we, we do have a couple of bids out for some players. We'll take a look at them if they come in. We do have some players that will be joining us tomorrow already. So uh, we can take a look at those. Uh, Herbert Kostman, a goalkeeper. Uh, German, valued at uh, zero uh, on 84000 He'll be joining us. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but he's 25 years old. Uh, also, Richard Bjork. Uh, he's joining us at the end of the year, 12-1. So it won't help us this year. Cameron Clunan. He joins us tomorrow as well. Pretty decent center back. He's got pace, uh, concentration, determination, positioning, 10 plus in all the all the technical spots that he needs. So he'll be joining us. We've got a couple of other bids out, and uh, we'll yeah we'll see uh, if those go through. We've made offers on these two guys, uh, but anyway, today we are back to play Team TG. Remember, we played them last year in the season finale to stay up. Zier Gardens, we're going to be playing them as well. Taking a look at the competition. Second position in the table, boys. After 12 matches, we're sitting 24 points, two points a match. I think if you get two points a match, you've got a good shot at going up or uh, winning silverware. Uh, they're on a little bit better. Hammerby, 28 out of 12 they have yet to lose a match. We've lost two. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but goal differential, we're scoring goals. Uh, I've gone into the tactic. I've pulled another tactic in. This is the tactic we've been playing. Uh, but I have brought back the Black Echo, which is a you know just a, a deep, deeper lying defender. If we start struggling, um, decided I didn't really like the three midfielders. Uh, in the other tactic that I had there. So, and I don't think I'm going to play this one either. It was just, you know, I was looking at it. But anyway, so let's get to the matches. We are on the road. We are favored. So we're going to stay attacking. We're going to stay with this tactic. All right. Jordevich is back from injury. Uh, Roche, Dieter, Paulison, Victor on the back line. Richardson in the goal. Paulson up, uh, Pison, Paulson up top, Nilsson and Thompson on the wings, Gunners and Evans in the central mid. Got a lot of guys out of sh match fitness, and that's okay. Still have a few players injured that we will have to uh, 
you know, have to kick on. Uh, so hopefully, oh, they've gone to a 4-3-3 here in the early going. Thought we were going to have a shot there. Oh, this is a close set piece. Oh, right into Richardson's hands. He held on to it. And I, I am just not sure what that was. Not sure at all. All right, let's tell him to get creative. Gunners plays it over. Oh, what a save by Iverson. Who was that taking that shot? That was uh, Evans. All right. Evans, our center mid. He was our big signing last year at the uh, offseason. All right, a corner. Thompson lines it up, spins it in, and I thought there might have been a penalty there, but Paulson gets to the ball, plays it back in. Oh, Gunners fights through. He goes near post, can't find it. Keeper knocks it away. That's unlucky. All right, uh, show some passion for the final 10 minutes. They're not having any of it. Roche into the box. Jordevich. Oh, there's a nice ball. Leonard Thompson. He gets his fourth goal. What an assist by Jordevich. And Thompson finds the right post. That was a nice finish to put us up 1-0. Can we double it? No. <laughs> Can we keep them from equalizing? Yes. That was horrible. Flick on header. Roche controls it. Plays it back up to Nilsson. He gets it into Jordevich. Oh, over the top. Chested down. Thompson takes a step. He is taken down in the box. Paulson will take the penalty. This will be nice if we can go up 2-0. I don't, I don't hold my breath on penalties, though. Right down Main Street, the keeper dives out of the way. Pontus read that correctly. His seventh of the season, and we are up 2-0 as we near halftime. That is excellent work. 11-4 on shots, holding the possession advantage. Uh, we do appreciate your efforts, Victor. Play it calm. 6-5. couple of 6-5s is our worst rating. All right. We're going to tell him to get creative again. That's my granddaughter, if you hear that. She's just hanging out. All right. Gunners into the box. Oh, and they play it over. Evans puts it over the net. All right, we're getting ready for a throw in here. Victor's on a yellow. Do I? Who do I have that can play center back? Robbie Bailey. Not quite the pace that I like. Tarpy doesn't head the ball quite as well. What about? Yeah. Let's do this. We're going to move Jordevich back for, I think we're going to move Pallison over. Victor for Jordevich. And then we'll bring in, uh, I'm going to bring in Jason Tarpy. And then do I want to sub off? Yeah, let's go ahead and pull Roche off for Robbie Bailey. That way we get both yellow cards off the field. All right, that was a thrown away header. Not very... Happy about that. Good ball over the top. Ansumana takes the shot. Good save by Richardson. Does knock it aside for a corner. All right, we've got both of our back line players. There's a header out. Another header out. Good job on the defense. Kavam. That's an interesting name. Oh, look at the deep ball. That was a beautiful pass. Dietert, nice block. We're going to praise him here. All right, Paulson, he's on the breakaway, into the box. He turns, turned his hips to be able to take that shot with his right foot. Probably cost him. 
Oh, there was a nice touch by Bailey, but he shoots it high and wide. Still holding on to the 2-0 advantage. And looks like maybe there's a big stiff win today. I don't know. Oh, off the woodwork on the header. That should have been in for three. That should have been a 3-0 advantage. All right, Bailey finds Tarpy. Over the top. Headed down. Evans controls. Oh, a little cheeky heel uh, hacky sack move there. Evans beats his man with the first touch. He lays it through. Nilsson held off. Paulson's there. He puts it in. Magnus Nilsson with a nice lay across right across the middle of the box. Paulson beats his man to the spot. Easy shot to put it in the net for his eighth of the season. And we will be very, very happy with that. Uh, let's see. Nilsson, let's go ahead. He's complacent, and we're still working on match fitness. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody else to play there, do I? I could play Larson's right only. Thompson is right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Thompson over to there. And then Nilsson for Larson. Maybe I need to, I need to make a mental note. I haven't recorded in a few days because I got, well, actually I have it, today's Thursday. I haven't recorded since last weekend. Um, I went out of town Monday and Tuesday. Um, by the way, that's something I'm going to be going out on the road a little more often. Uh, my boss uh, tweaked our territories uh, back in January, and I think it's just going to be beneficial to me personally from a work perspective to spend an extra night or two out on the road a month. It won't be a lot. Like I said, an, an extra night or two. So instead of one or two nights a month, it'll be, you know, three or four, you know, three, maybe four nights a month. But, uh, you know, when I do go out of town, I usually record ahead, try to get up enough episodes. So I had episodes up for Monday and Tuesday already, but I had Wednesday and today's episodes already recorded. Uh, so this one is actually going to go up Friday, uh, tomorrow, I think. I think that's right. Well, that's a solid game. 19 to 12 on shots, three woodworks, six chances created. Pretty happy with that. We are going to tell them that we appreciate the efforts, get them some greenage. Transfer window does open. So let's see. Let's go ahead and praise Paulson, Kalskrona, and Hammerby is rearranged. But that doesn't affect us here. We're playing your gardens next. So I'm going to get up to the match, and I will see you guys back here momentarily. But because the transfer window opens on the 15th, I do want to possibly get some bids uh, going in. All right, we'll see you guys back in a second. So we play your gardens today. We are favorites at home. We've dropped a third, uh, taking a quick look. Uh, AIK won their match. We have a game in hand, so not really worried about that. Oh, the board gave me a chance to reset uh, expectations uh, because it was to avoid a relegation battle was our initial plan. But because we're doing so well, I just said that I would avoid relegation. So uh, I didn't go crazy and say we would compete because, you know, we this could all fall apart today <laughs> so uh anyway but we did that and i think it gave us a little bit more budget and transfer two hundred thousand dollars more and may have given us a little bit more there we did sign those two new players still have a transfer offer out on him but uh you know if they come in we'll take a look at them uh, Costman and Clunan come in on freeze. So we'll see if they make their debut today. I'm not exactly sure where they're going to slot in. But we are favorites, so we're going to stay with our attacking. Uh, neither one on the bench. 
It's so weird not starting Lindbaum, isn't it? He has not started a match this year. Boy, boy. Tempo is awkward, though. Oh, you know what? I haven't changed that. Usually I drop this, take the offsides trap off. Yeah, so yeah, we'll still, we'll, we'll, you know, we just started training that, right? So no big deal. Uh, let's see. I want, Selenius has three in five. He's playing a 701. Tyson has eight in eight. Yeah, we're not taking that off the pitch. A goal a match. I think I am going to take Lindbaum off. In fact, you know what? I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try to sell him. Let's offer to clubs. He's only valued at 1.4, right? So let's go to 2.9 and 30% of next sale. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm going to take him out. And I want... Do I have a mid left? Yeah, Coco. Coco. You know what? Shit, I'm going to start him. I don't know why the the AI is not starting him. That's why I want some of you guys fuss at me to... Oh, that's why. What's his deal? Injured. Six days. No, okay. So, yeah, we don't want him in there yet. Didn't notice he was injured. Suspended, injured. Can't go wrong with a little badge, though, right? Can't go wrong with badge at all. Badge and gunners. Badge is in green. Gunners is just better. Not bad off the bench. 24 years old. I think I'm going to... Do I list him? Yeah, he's only three-star potential, right? So let's train, let's offer him out to clubs as well. He's valued at eight and a quarter. Uh, let's ask for 20% profit on next sale. Just because he's he's one of my favorite players, right? All right. Let's go ahead with uh shit. That's my issue. Damn it. Nobody in here is homegrown. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Bash Selenius. Well, you know what? If we take Selenius off and put Lindbaum on, no. So, oh, so shit. All right. So it has to be. Let's take Dupont off and put Gustafson. Holt. Ooh, let's put Ivar Holt in there. Let's do that. There we go. All right. Costman needs a number. He's number 22 officially. Pick up where you left off, please. And let's see. All right, they get the first, so let's go with a get creative. Roche picks up a slight injury. Pulled thigh, but he's recovering quickly. Jarsmir. Uh, he bends it, but it goes wide around the post. Another one. Oh, Stepan Linderoth, his first of the season. Set piece special. We are very susceptible to those, I got to tell you. Don't want to watch it again. Uh, demand more. All right, there's a header. Thompson controls it. Plays it back. Dietert. All right, he clears it out to the other team. All right, there's a header, but it goes to the other team again. A little bit of pressure defensively. All right, they force a lump out. All right, a lot of pressure here. Oh, he pounces. Evans beats. Oh, my God, the keeper was laying down. He could have taken a touch and scored an open netter. Ah, they're overwhelmed. Show some passion. No, oh, off the woodwork. Cleared out by Roche. 
All right. We'll finish out the half with some pressure, it looks with some passion, it looks like. Oh, cleared off the back line. That was a great, great defensive play. Deep into the corner, but our winger was heading back in the other direction. Not, not, not happy with this. I'm tempted. I am tempted. Can Gunners play up top? He is a striker. He's got eight finishing. He's not horrible. He's not horrible. Um, I tell you what, since we're not quite as good, we're only down one. Even though we're favorites, I'm going to drop to caution. Cautious. Uh, yes, disappointing. And you're doing okay. I mean, you're you're right there with everybody else. I think if it was a really bad injury, his percentage would be way down. All right, let's encourage him. Richardson plays it out to Bailey. I'm just looking at all these balls that they are throwing, kicking, heading to the other team. And I'm like, that's not very realistic at all. Oh, he was off sides, buddy. All right, don't make me climb through my monitor and kick your butt. Oh, he was definitely off sides. All right, I'm going to go up to positive. All right, Roche. Let's bring Tarpy on for him. Nilsson's not playing good. All right, but again, this is mid-left. I'm going to bring Larson on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Karsten Bash. He can play that winger on the left. Nah. Lindbaum. He can't cross. Yeah, I'm going to bring Larson on. On the left side. But then we'll reverse these guys. Because if I remember correctly, he's right and Larson is right only. So, yeah, that helps. So... At least he's not completely out of place out there. All right, Dieter into Evans. Over the top, nobody makes the run. Thank you very much. Back to the keeper. Oh, my God, if we could have intercepted that on the strike. Oh, good block by Larson, and he clears it out. That was a stellar block, because that was probably going in. Oh, come on. The keeper got his hands on it, and it still goes in. Trond Malmo, his first of the season. Oh, okay, we're going to have to dial this up to attacking now. Uh, we're going to have to demand more. And Gunners for Lindbaum. All right, man, you got your shot. You've got your shot. A couple of goals from you here in the second half. Could find you some playing time. And we're not even going to get a highlight. Damn it. All right, out shot. They were just the better team today. Just the better team, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Um, let's go assertive. Not good enough. All right, so we're going to be in third position now that we're, we've are we got the game back, but we didn't make up any points. Five and, they're on a five, five on a run. Three with two losses. Don't like that. We're just a point up on Elfsburg. Uh, two weeks for Roche with that thigh. All right. Well, Badge, we've got an offer. I'll take a look at these off camera. They're for what we're asking. And 20 per... Well, we will accept... 
So he's probably gone. Um, all right, guys. Well, where do we come back? We're in the latter half of the season. Let's, uh, we just played Kalmar and Hawken, right? Hawken, Kalmar. So we've got a cup match in there. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do the cup match, play Kalmar off camera, and then play Arabro. Maybe we'll do that. So we'll we'll have three scores, two matches still, and then we'll get back in uh, in the mix down here. So let's plan on that. Depends on who we draw in the cup. If not, we'll come back for uh, Arabro and Nor Coping maybe. Or right, actually, you know what? We haven't played Hammerby yet. Why don't we just do that? Let's come back for Nor Coping and Hammerby. I like that idea. So we'll see you back for that. And then we'll be looking at, uh, well, no, because Hammerby we're going to finish with. Pay attention, RC. All right, Hammerby we don't want here then. Yep, Arabro and Nor Coping it is. Final decision, final answer. So we'll see you guys for that at the end of August. That'll allow us to catch up on transfer news as well. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.